Hello everyone and welcome to another DDR video, Trip Machine Phoenix Challenge 10 or 15 on the new scale. The same with the expert actually, but well, <laughs> this is another one of those misrated charts on uh, DDR Supernova 2. So yeah, Trip Machine of Phoenix. Your biggest nemesis here is probably the background. <laughs> I find that very difficult to read parts of it because of the background. <laughs> uh, the, anyway, the beginning sections here are crossovers that lead into each other pretty fluently, which I actually should be doing, but, <laughs> but I don't know why I'm double-stepping, perhaps because I am dead tired here. This is my last song play of the day because I am pretty tired. And here's the backgrounds, yeah. <laughs> Just, why? Why, why would they do that? <laughs> and there's other sections that, uh, of the song that makes it a little bit tricky to read just because of the background like that. Like, stuff like this, nah, not that big of a deal. But then again, it's not that difficult of a section either. It all flows together pretty nicely for the most part. Uh, well, I, I'd play it better if I wasn't so tired, but... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, whenever it's oh, you're oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, I'm holding it together, sort of. Even though the background's getting chippier again. <laughs> See, it's it, there's just something about yeah. This is just I don't know. Maybe it's because it's the lines in it that just kind of camouflage the arrows, outlines, and whatnot. And then a rather straightforward stream section at the end, leading to some Afternova crossovers. And yeah, as I said, I'm pretty tired, so it's the last play of the day for me, but I was in the mood to play it as my parting grace of the game for the day. And what my body feels like doing, my body will do. <laughs> I played too much today, I'm exhausted. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.